and then my train of thought got derailed a bit there but I'll continue because my recording shut because my video my battery went low Jesus Christ it's so annoying but his battery's full so we'll be chilling for the next half an hour 45 minutes yeah when you're the top G you're the boss when you're that you're that guy it's very very difficult then to be like oh man I thought my thought my thought my train of thought really got fucked up bro just the thing let me just retrace my thoughts uh, this is an exercise I do often to retrace my thoughts and train my memory okay, so friends get jealous of you, they see you grind friends get jealous of you anyway, they see you organize success they think you know it's luck etc etc and then you remind them of all the years of grinding and they, but they will never understand like you could, you're a neuro top G, you're a Dubai now, you're living that life you're in a nice apartment, you're in a fantastic phenomenal shape like, like I said every single time, you're living a very good life because you deserve it Okay, there's two ways, two ways, more the majority of people react to this. And then if anyone would be inspired by you, they will be inspired by you, irregardless. Anyone that's like, on the come up to be successful, you can tell if they're going to be inspired by you, like, oh boy, I should be like you. Even if they still see you grind, they're going to respect that. And if they still see you grind, they're going to respect that even more. But that was, uh, those, that was, I don't know what to say, but I was going to say that and those, but I'm fucked up. But those are a small minority of people, they're like... For example, this is like, this is like 100%, right? These two fingers, they're like here. A small gap in the middle, like here. Those are the amount of people that will be impressed and like inspired and be motivated and disciplined. And it is, it's like you ignite fuel in them. Not you ignite um, a fire in them. And that fire, that thing, your success will be the fuel for their success. So it's like, it's, that, it's like that, right? But the majority of people right here, you're successful, they see you grind, you're successful, they don't see you grind, they'll be bitter, they'll be jealous, they'll be demotivated, they'll hate you, they'll resent you, they'll act like you're weird, they like, oh, he's obsessed with money, but rich people are this, or rich people are that, oh, Jimmy's changed, and that's like the majority of the thing, because it, majority of people's rash, because it highlights their insecurities, it makes them feel inadequate, like, they think themselves, yeah, I knew this guy, but now he's an ultra successful, like, what do I do with my time, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's a ne it's a it's a huge negative spiral of it's a huge spiral of negativity, and if you allow yourself to be anywhere near these people, and you call these people your friends, and you're doing yourself, you're doing yourself, especially if you're in the same privilege, especially from a grind. So that's why I think that you should never show your grind to many people because in the first place you avoid that confrontation, because I mean, that confrontation will come later on anyway. And you'll probably have to deal with it anyway. Like, oh yeah, it's just blah, blah, blah. and then you can remind them the years, but they'll never understand. I grinded for three years of my life, I was in the trenches, I was streaming really hard, and I was gaming really hard, and whatever, I didn't even enjoy the game, I just fucking did it because I had to, I was fucking doing this, and then, uh, you don't understand, bro, but if uh, I can show you, and they like, they might be convinced for a bit, yeah, 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 bro, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'll listen to you, but then, the, the truth of the situation is, they'll go back to the shit habits, because people never fucking change, you cannot change people, only people can change themselves, people never change, alright? I mean, as I said that from, uh, from the standpoint of a, of a third person view, coming from the first person view, ex extrapolating that, it means that you can never change someone else. The only, that person can only change themselves. And the fact remains is that the majority of people do not change themselves. The majority of people live mundane life, the majority of people live vicariously through entertainment media, the majority of people live very boring lives. So, uh, how do I say this? I mean, a lot of lives of their own, they live lives of people, their predecessors, especially like parents or friends. Da -da 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 or like um, elders or mentors, they live lives that these people tell them. Oh, maybe the best move is this, I'm going to do this, I'm like, yeah, maybe the best move is this. And they don't second guess, they don't think about it, you know, they don't make the moves that they keep believe is the best. They make moves that everyone tells them to make. You know, that, those are the type of people that will be resentful towards you and your grind. If you are grinding, if you're grinding especially, especially hard, like, I don't know, I can see for myself as well, like, I'm, with my volume of uploading videos, bro, after I'm editing, done, done editing everything, and edit, editing on my computer as well, I'm actually hyped up for that, I can't lie, because I'm my fucking work rate, is looking good boys. It's weird, like, I just got off a sweaty session, being a loser gamer, but then like, my work rate is looking good, like, I'm getting more workouts in, I'm doing this, more that, I, it's weird, but I, I know myself, I cannot balance this for long, like, I'm not a balancer, I know I'll crash at some point, I'll fuck up at some point, so the best move on chessboard for me is definitely, definitely like how I say this just quit video games 
and then focus on the grind more. Yeah, I don't know, like, what? Uh, that's a separate topic that I'm, f I'm fucking around here with, but people will be jealous and resentful. I don't know, I'm trying to retrace my memories as well, like, but I don't think I'm perfect. I think I made a point, and I didn't, like, really extra I didn't extrapolate on that point, and I kind of fucked up there. I don't know, I kind of just like, went on a bit of a tangent there. Like, no, it's not my, um, not my intention, but yeah. I want to, I, I, the way I make videos is very how I think this. It's very simple. I make a point. I make examples, analogies, and perhaps bring statistical evidence as well that benefits me. Um, if it doesn't benefit me, then why the fuck would I bring it? But um, can I mean, as it improved my fucking point, or I can bring real life case studies and stories. And but even if, if even if I did bring like case studies, that, that, that benefits me. Or if it doesn't benefit me, I put it like in the chair and like, wait a minute, this doesn't benefit you. I don't believe you anymore. Or I think that part usually person usually kind of. Never believed me in the first place. You know, always second guess, half half hours, half guess. You know, I had a friend before who was who wanted to like get fit because he had gynecomastia, and then like he wanted to go to the gym, the boxing gym with me. And I was I was very happy he wanted to come with me. But I was very happy, and he came for me for like two sessions, and then he just never came again. But the first session was always the hardest for him because he was just fucking terrified like a pussy, and I was like, I knew how this guy was like, he needed to be shouted at. I shouted and I was like, oh, boy, you can't be a pussy, you can't be a coward. Da, 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 oh, man up. Da, 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 da. And then like, it worked, it was training hard, it was working hard, but as soon after, like, communication to Windows, bro. And I was like, I wasn't really impressed with him because I could feel that he was lying to me in some areas, in certain areas. Like, um, something wasn't right, as if he wanted to prove himself to me. And I, I'll admit the truth of all here, guys, I'm not a perfect specimen. Always stand by the truth because the truth will always prevail, you know. That's why I always try to be more vulnerable, almost the truthful. So I'm, I'm saying vulnerable, and I and I, I guess this is like a vulnerable practice on this channel, but for the most part, like my biggest insecurity, my biggest vulnerability isn't even my physique because I know I'll get that in time, it isn't even like my gaming because I know I'll drop it in time. Like, I already made reach my goal. Well, how, how much more can I get before I fucking like, I drop it in time? Like, my biggest insecurity is financial, it's all fiscal, it's all money, it's all fucking that type of thing. And once I get enough, I'll show you that I have enough, like, I'm not to prove myself. And then people will still hate me anyway, it's just weird, like, anything you do, oh, you was lying, you came, come out, my money, daddy money, when I'm literally sleeping on a fucking mattress. My bed, my bed frame broke. <laughs> what the fuck? The people will always find a way to hate, and I think that um, keeping the grind on the download is one of the best ways to go about it. You know, what did Robert Greene say in The 48 Laws of Power? What did he say? He said, think as you are, do as I think they will, some shit like that. So you behave like everyone else. You're a wolf in sheep's clothing. Behave like everyone else, but you still think like that wolf. You still think like that sigma alpha male wolf. I don't know, it sounds kind of fucking, it sounds kind of homosexual to me. And uh, I'm not thinking it's homosexual, but Jesus Christ, like sigma male? Like, where the fuck did this shit come from? Like, you, you, you think as a outlier, but you are still acting as a thing, as a normal person, but your actions are also correlate with that outlier as well. As in, everyone else says you get a job, sure I'll get a job, you work part time, you work a thing, you work a job, okay sure, happy, everyone's happy, everyone's happy, everyone's happy when you get a job, whenever, when you start a business, everyone's unhappy, like, just think on that for a sec, because they don't want you to be successful intrinsically, because they, you're a child, you're probably going to be, that's an irrelevant point, that's also why you should hide your grind, um, you get a job, start doing a business, small side hustle, you start hustle, start making good money, Okay, you go part time now, you work for us, so I was making main, more main income, so I was also making a crazy fucking amount of income. You need more of the time, you quit your job for a sec, for a bit, you tell your boss, you tell your boss honestly, hey boss, I have a business, so I was on the side, and it's something my income. Hey, I, I think I want to make a family in the future, I need to make my financial percent, and I want to pay for the funeral for my grandma, blah, 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 blah. and I really love my grandma, I haven't seen her for a while, and um, thing. if I go over now, I'm going to see her, then I can see her, and quite old now and I think that I want to see her, I really really love her, please give me the, uh, a good 6 month, uh, 12 month break, I know it's a lot, I know, it's, I know you could fire me, if you feel like you should fire me, please fire me, um, it's fine, I can find another place, like, if you're honest like that, I have a business, I, need to, I want to make more money, I need to make more money, I think for my family, usually they'll understand, if they don't understand it, like a cold, ruthless, cunning, like, cunning bastard, then the congratulations, you just dodge a bullet, like what the fuck, like you're in a good spot now, 
if the boss doesn't understand it, and if the boss should understand them, no, but, but, no, but then again, like, a boss should, wouldn't understand it some places here, and they would be like, oh, they, you know, you're making excuses, uh, Jerry, you're always making excuses, or, or, or you just want to work less, you always, you mean working less ever since, it, it, it's possible, it's entirely possible, I'll make the truth, but then again, like, would you rather pursue your own business, I don't know why I'm asking this question, but would you rather pursue your own business and make a fuck ton more money than your job, or continue your job that you hate, and you're making less money, like, the boy stands, that's what I mean, and that's what I'm trying to tell you guys, <sighs> keep it right down low, man, they get jealous, bro, they get fucking jealous, like, whatever around you will get jealous, the boss would be jealous, maybe. I'm gonna make more money from job now. I'm paying more. I need more per hour for this business. I've been making more per hour for the last 18 months, and yeah, I, I'm really stacked up with savings. Uh, I'll call you if anything goes wrong. I'll make the truth if anything goes wrong. And you can say ha ha in my face. I'll make the truth ha ha. Yeah, you can, you can laugh at me. That's wonderful if you can laugh at me. Bro, like, you're laying out on the table, seeming vulnerable. If you're taking advantage of in that moment where you seem vulnerable, that person and try to manipulate them about that person. That person was there for you in the first place. They're just trying to use you. Like I, I don't know why I have to say this. Seems like common sense, but it's the truth. Like if you're if you're telling your boss like I want to make more money to help my family, and it's like it's true. You want to help your family. Like, they're paying bills. Like why the fuck do they have to pay bills? Why does my grandma have to pay bills? I want to pay bills. My, my grandma's bills. I fucking broke. I want to remember the truth right here. This is the honest truth. Like this is not an example by the way. I broke my my grand my grandma's doors handles door handles because I'm used to European doors you open it hard then I had to like slowly adjust and open like this there's a big door as well but the handle was fucking made up of nothing I mean it's not, everyone's like blaming me and then after that I just didn't break any hand door handles and I felt really really bad because they have to get new fucking door handles if I had money I just pay for it I'm like, oh I'm sorry I'm sorry grandma I'm sorry granddad yeah just Money. Okay, we just let's let's make it a group activity. Let's count this thing. Let's try to help the builder fix it, or try to do it by ourselves, and then fix it. Like money doesn't money not only solves a lot of issues, it gives you that leeway to just spend more time with people you love, and just leave a lot of small minor issues. You know, it's just like if you have a lot of small minor issues gone, you have a better inner lock of control in your life. Like for example, if I broke the boat, I just instantly snap. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, bro. Here's some money. I'm gonna fix your doors. If I can't do it myself, I'll hire a thing. I spent all my day doing that. But they said I was a useless cunt and I couldn't do anything, so yeah. Oh, is the elevator a bit broken? Like, what's that as well? Staircase? Like, come on, guys. Like, what the fuck? I have a bed to go to sleep. Stupid though. Because <laughs> it moves like money. Cause, yeah, I think, I think it's weird. Like, we live in, a, in we live in a society. We live in a world, not in a society. We live in a world where, if you are successful, you immediately get ostracized. And it's weird, man. Though the hate is always loud than the love, and it's so unfortunate truth. Like, people say, so love, not peace. It's usually people that say love, not peace. Love, not love, peace. love, not war. Um, love and peace, not I think war and quiet and chaos. But those individuals are usually the most militaristic and aggressive and violent individuals. You know what I'm saying, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, that's another topic for another video. Yeah, people that you think have the best interest in you, perhaps even your own mother and your father, once you start making more money than him, like, you, you might be put in a way that I'm like, oh, I can't even more like that, I can't even more like that. I have I didn't have a fucking dad in the first place. My father's cut child of being more than my dad. <laughs> I do not give a fuck. I'm a ruthless bastard, bro. Yeah, I just um, I just want to say that piece for the uh, video because I think it, it's, it's just weird. Like you can't and you can't even sh show off anymore without being. I, I don't know why. I keep this is my cat. This is my cat first scrubber. I keep acting like it's a Star Wars laser. I don't know, I'm fucking. I'm, I'm autistic. Um, you know, people, anytime we would 
tried to shop a success. For example, like um, a world champion, like even world champion things. But like for example, someone gets a job, that means that they qualify to provide value to the economy. They're celebrated. That's very, very celebrated. But if someone gets like a million dollars as an entrepreneur, that's showing off. And I want you to understand that that cost me for a bit instead of brutally hating me. Better brutally hear me. Um, how my wisdom to this? I want you to understand that that cost me a bit because, like, think about it, bro. The amount of money you make as an entrepreneur is directly tied to how much value you provide to the economy. You provide a million dollars worth of um, thing value to the economy within one year, two years, or how it is, one month, two months, something crazy, right? Wait, your founder came up, which is not crazy. And then you're seen as the person who's showing off because you have what other people can't have. Because you have what other people know they could have had they put in the work, but they don't want to. And they live by carelessly through entertainment meetings, other and other venues. This is why there's so many young men out here, like especially manual and other type of stuff. Like we don't like seeing weak people because when we read manga and manual, like have you ever liked reading a, uh, a manga or manual or a comic book with a weak protagonist? No, you like re reading with a strong protagonist or the weak to hero, like a zero to hero type of protagonist. They go from nothing to something. The long trial and I think journey of trial and tribulation and think how do I say this hardship but instead like let me restructure that we live vicariously through individuals that go from zero to hero that are strong protagonists that are how do I say this losers of deep stalks in the beginning of the movie but then at the end of the movie he's like chatting with the girl like or he's beating up the bully who's, who's a Chad, who looks like a Chad, who's like a perfect jawline and shit, he's tall and handsome and blonde and blue eyes and shit, and beat him up, fucking Peter, Peter Parker and shit. Ah, okay, you get that flash? Slow motion and shit. Like, yeah, get him! Because we're living vicariously through Peter Parker, because we see ourselves as a geek, as a triumph. And um, yeah, that's fucking, that's horribly sad. Like, holy shit, man, I'm putting cat, cat cleaning into it. I to stop. Bro, I'm, I think, yeah. You know them shields in the Mandalorian you get? You go, and then like the shield and there's like like a, like a Mandalorian pistol. I keep fucking, I'm like, that's cool. Like, I'm, I'm literally a fucking child, bro. <laughs> this is who you're getting advice from. <laughs> I need to chill out, man. Uh, we, we live through these, it is true though, like why I'm saying I'm, uh, I admit the truth. I said I admit the truth again. I don't know why. I keep saying I admit the truth. Because I always, I always admit the truth. What the fuck? <laughs> You know, we, we live vicariously through these individuals instead of trying to become that individual ourselves because no one else told us to become this, this individual. Instead, we're told to consume social media. We're told to consume entertainment media. We're told to consume so many other things that <laughs> kind of just stunt our growth because we're just so escaped into something else. It's like seeing a person who's like an avid gamer, any professional gamer, they always look like geeks. Not like nerds, they look like geeks, bro. They look perhaps some, some ugly, deformed, skinny, fat. You get the odd occasional one who's like ripped and like gets a bunch of girls and everything, he has gaming as a hobby on the side. But that's a, that's a rare exception. Congratulations, bro. You're the exception. The majority of professional gamers and gamers in general are very, very talented, out of shape, quite ugly. The dichotomy is usually is like, hey, I, I, I was really addicted to video games before, now I quit video games, now I'm really successful. Wow, look at me, look at me, look, wow, look at this. That, that's the dichotomy, right? And I think that, like, wow, that's a fucking, I just realized that shit, shit like, These people trade their lives to live in the video game. They literally have all, like, but vicarious mode. Vicar I'm going to call that vicarious mode. That's my, I'm going to call it in this video, vicarious mode. I should put, I should, maybe I should put like a, a Jeffrey. Jerry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to copy it. Jerry and Chad. No. Chris and Christopher. Jerry and Chad. Bottom G, top G. No, that's not going to be taken. Shit, man, let's think of a name. Uh, I'm liking, I'm liking the, the, the Jerry's. Jerry's and Morty's. Should I do that? Some shit like that? Nah, that's, that's too fucking. That's fucking. 
That is literally dick sucking. Like, wow. Um, that's the first time I said album so, so strongly. I need a moment to think. On the scale of vicarious, all these esports gamers are living from like people, normal people that play video games on like 75, so they got a job and then they got the video games, which is a happiness because they've lost their life, etc. 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 But on vicarious, well, they're on, they're on like the professional games on like 99.9 or like 100 straight up, like the bad, like uh, bad necessities. They're, they're, the reason why a lot of them aren't on 100 because they still pee and poo in the real world, they still eat in the real world, they still sleep in the real world, and that's it. <laughs> the fuck, they, they, I know that motherfuckers do not getting late, bro. It's crazy. That's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna say. And it's just, it's just like, it's just, it's a weird place to be, you know, because my copage for streaming so much is like, oh, I could be a professional streamer, I could be a professional streamer, but like, but how many hours would I need to dedicate to become a professional streamer, man? Too many hours. <laughs> too many hours, man. Uh, yeah, too many. I do respect grinding a little bit, though, because there is their job, and they do get paid to, you know, play video games, that's quite a fucking job, but, like, they, they, all their time is focused on video games, and as they like, as they're so good at the video games, they get like 20 KDs, and like, the Verhals literally got to the 21 KD before I did before they faded on it, and they got like 17 KD recently, so the Masters in literally 49 games, which is fucking crazy. Like, as people, at least people get like 10 KDs, 15 KDs, 17 KDs, 21 4 KDs, Predator, etc. So they get everything, they get the whole nine, right? And Call of Duty, I don't know what that is, Golden Gun, Platinum Gun, Diamond Gun, Obsidian Gun, this gun, that gun. As they get that high level into the video game, their real body diminishes. Like, yeah, that's what that's a weird economy. I always talk about it as well, but like, yeah, that's enough for that. I, I feel like my, it's happened to me as well, but that's, that's not this video topic. It's being started with a grind, and I think being started with a grind is very, very powerful. And I think every man, every man should do it. I think I proved my point there. I like the previous video. I'm going to edit this video with another video. Because it has ended. But, you know, quite a, quite a lengthy video. I didn't mean to do that to you guys. I will catch you guys in the next video. Leave me a comment, make it a peace.